Hey everyone, it is Tudor from Tudor's Treasures and um, I am actually going to plan on doing a show by myself on Wednesday. Um, my sister from the Pink Elephant Parlor always comes and helps me and it's about time I grow up and do my own. Although I love having her and mom here. Um, so I'm just going to do a little preview of what I'm going to do on Wednesday. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Um, it gets kind of overwhelming for me, but, but because I have my store too. So, um, my, um, my shows are going to be pretty short. Um, I think I've got about maybe 20 things. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few of them. I'd like to leave a few surprises. Um, but I'm going to get started off with this very cute Halloween brooch. Now I know the lighting, I've moved my... I've moved to the back of my store, as you can tell, the background's a little different. Um, but this is so cute. And I think this one, if I remember right, um, I think a copyright is like 1995 or, or was made in 1995. Um, so it's new old stock. The, I have the box, everything. Everything looks good. Um, I, and I just put batteries in it. Uh, I went and bought brand new batteries. But watch this. Hello, it lights up. I'm gonna try to do this little number. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Little ghost, little house, everything lights up, little pumpkin. It's got some little green leaves around the bottom. It's adorable. So this will be available on Wednesday. You can just flip the little switch off. And then um, the other things that I have will be jewelry. Um, and this is another little brooch for Christmas. Um, I only found, I think, maybe one other one of these, and it took me forever to find it. Um, this is a brooch. This is actually a brooch, and it is also a light-up brooch. The little candles, um, they light up. People will definitely see you coming. It's really cute. And this one, too, is new old stock box, everything, super good condition. I honestly, I don't even know if anybody ever wore it. Um, I put, I put uh, batteries in this one also. So you got fresh new batteries in it. Yeah, I'm trying to get it up there a little. It's cute. It's got some little holly berries and a little pine cone in it and the little bow. It's adorable. And then I have, and you know me, I love cats. Um, I have this little cat pen, and he is trying to get this bird. And I'm sorry if I squint a lot, but I don't see well. Um, my glasses aren't really helping, so I definitely have to go to the doctor. Um, I know I'm still bad with the camera, but here he is on this pole, and he is trying to get this little bird. The little bird is just hanging there in the bird cage. It's kind of like yikes. And it's really cute. And this will be available too. And if any of you are know a teacher or are a teacher, this is really pretty. And it says teacher on it. And then there's rhinestones in the book. They are glued in, but they are beautiful. And a little apple. It looks like it's sitting on like a little, some sort of little stick or something. I don't know what that is like maybe a ruler or something, I, I'm not sure. But this will be available too. And then, let's move away from jewelry for a minute. I want to show you all my jewelry. I love this guy, I just got him. I had a lady call me and she was gonna have a big sale and she's like, do you want to come and look first? And I was like, of course. And so I went there and oh, I loaded up my boyfriend's truck. Uh, I knew mine wouldn't carry it all. And uh, so I loaded it up and then load the back of it up full of old bicycles because he loves old bicycles. And uh, anyway, um, I also went to a flea market on Saturday. It's called Rutledge. And you can actually look it up on Facebook. It's a big flea market. They have it every second um, weekend of the month. And I went there and got, you know, quite a few things. Uh, I was real pleased uh, with the things I got. Uh, this is one of them. He is cute. He is cute. Hi, little frog. Got his little polka dots all over him. Now he has Mark Japan on the bottom. 
It's hugging the tree. And he, I think he's a toothpick holder. Now, I'm not as good as Sam. So, uh, <laughs> I looked everything over as best I can. I did not find any chips or cracks. Um, I will keep looking before the sale. And if, any, if I find anything, I will definitely let you know. Um, but I didn't find anything on this little guy. So, he looks really good to me. He says, hello, everybody. He's so cute. And then, okay, again, you know I love cats. Look at here. Hold on, let me get it all fixed. Hello, pillowcases. Cat pillowcases, and it's the long neck cat. Ha ha. So cute. I've got two of them. I've got two. And they're just the, let me get rid of the other one. Um, they're just the uh, standard size. They look to be in very good shape. I uh, didn't find anything wrong with them. Let me get them back up to this camera, which I can do. And they'll be available on uh, Wednesday as well. Uh, my sale will start at uh, 1030 uh, Central Time. I'm just kind of used to that right now. I really need to find a day when maybe more people can be there. Um, I mean, I hope to see all of you there. And uh, if you're not, um, you can definitely go back to the video. And if something didn't sell, email me. Um, my email is um, Teresa Living Good 1965 at gmail.com. And you can also put some comments below. Uh, just saying, hey, I don't, I, I don't have your e email. Can you, can you give it to me, or can you email me? You know, we'll, we'll work it out. Um, now, since it is Halloween, I do have some Halloween things. Let me just get to them. Um, I'm gonna be selling these kind of weirdly. Um, like I have a bunch that are in super good shape, no tape on them. Um, like this little guy here. I'm going to say this little guy is probably from the 80s. Um, he's got like, this is kind of like feels felty, like really soft or something. So, little ghost coming out of a pumpkin with some bats around him. And this little guy, Happy Halloween. It's a dark, uh, orange. I know you can't see the color that well, and for that I apologize. I will try to adjust my lighting a little, and maybe you guys can see. Do you see it? It's really a dark orange. It's it's really super nice. It's in good shape. Got a little owl, little pumpkin, little scarecrow, and he's in, those are in really good shape. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. I should have had those a little closer to me. And then we have the witch and her kitty cat. Again, the color's really good on it. The other side is a little more faded, but this side, super bright. That'll be available. Ooh, now this guy's just scary looking to me. Wow. One side seems to be a little darker, but this side has the felt like felt on his eyes and stuff, you know? Um, and this side does not have the felt and it's just a little, little, it's not as dark as the side with the felty filling stuff. And here's a little sweet guy. He wants to go trick or treating too. I don't blame him, I love candy. And it's got some felt. Oh, the felt is on this side, so it's a little darker on this side. His little, Things are felt, and he's got some, I think it's the bat's felt, and little pieces of his tail. And then this side, there's none of that felty feeling stuff, and it's not as bright. And this lady, whoo whoo! Look at her. And there's felt on this side. Her hat's got the felty feeling stuff. So she's a little darker on this side than she is on this side, because there's none of the felty stuff on this side. Now, all of these, I do believe, are from the 80s, early 90s. 
I'm leaning really more towards the 80s because I've seen a few in here that say 80s on them, I think. Now, I have got uh -oh, more of those that I just showed you. But these that I have have been used. And so, you know, I mean, I know me back in the day when I would get them, I would put tape all over them and put them on the window. And every year I just slap more tape on it. Well, that's the way these are. I really didn't find any that were all ripped up or anything. Um, they just all happen to have a lot of tape. Um, still very good. Like this one is so cute. Look at that. And he's felty feeling. And he's darker than what you're seeing. Just stupid computer. And then, look at this little cat. Woohoo! And you can see the tape at the top. That's what they did to him. And there's tape at the bottom. Um, now, this one, I'm going to say, and again, I, I'm not real good with old um, Halloween stuff, but I can bet you that this one is extremely old. She's got some stuff missing off of her hat, like, you know, the cardboardy stuff has kind of tore away, but just at the top. And then she's got tape all over her, too, but I, I know she's old. And she's just cardboard on the back. And then, what else? I mean, there's just a pile of these. I think there's 11 of these that have the tape. Now, this one, this particular one I found... Uh, and she's got felt on her too. So she's she's a little different color on one side than she is the other. You can see that. But she does have a little rip in her, but it's been taped. And I think it's the only one I've really found that was ripped. Like I said, most of them are just because um, this one's got felt on it too. Oh, he's so cute with the little frog. And he's got tape on the top and the bottom. Anyway, there is a stack of these. Um, I think there is 11 or so in total. I don't know. I'll get the correct total for you on sale day. But not only are you going to get these, these are all going to go for um, all together. These are going to be sold all together. So you're going to get a stack of them. But I found, let me move this back over. I found... Clingies. These you peel off and you cling to your windows. Now these were made in 1988. They're a little dusty um, around the edges. You can see where, the, where they uncling. There's a little, little dusty on them, but wow. Are they cool? They are super cool. And then I had, and I don't know, oh there it is. You get those, that's going to go in that pile of uh, Halloween stuff I just showed you. But look at this. This is going to go in the pile too. They paper clipped it. So when you did that, it kind of, you know, shreds it a little. So anyway, this one is old. Just like that one witch that I showed you, I think they're from the same era. Um, look at this little guy. And it's very, very orange. Um, you cannot see the color because of my lighting. I wish it was better, but it's not. So, and you can see the, the top of him. He's got like a little string coming out of him. But on this side where they've paper clipped it, kind of shreddy because they paper clipped it. But I'm going to keep putting paper clip right where it was at. That way, uh, you know, we don't ruin it on any of the other sides or whatever. Because it's in such great shape all the way around, except for where they've been paper clipping it. And I know this one is, is extremely old. It says Japan on it, actually. It says, um, product of Japan. I wish I could see it. Um, so that's going to be available. So all of those ones that you saw, and the stickers, the clingy things, and this will all go into one pile. And the other ones that have no tape and are, you know, 
this is, I don't even know if anybody ever used them. Uh, I can't guarantee that, but okay. So that's, oh, well, no, one more Halloween thing. This is weird and creepy. So this is a cape. Full length Ben Cooper cape. It is plastic. I mean, this is how they did them back in the day. <laughs> this was like, you know, an awesome costume back in the day. It is just a, I think it's just a cape that's included in here. It says, uh, cape. Yeah, it's 41 inches, it says. And it was from Matco. Oh my gosh. I rem Mom used to take us to Matco. I remember Matco. The first thing I'd do as a teenager is I'd run back to the records and the cassettes. We did not have CDs. But anyway, that's going to be available. I mean, even if you didn't use it, what a great... If you collect Halloween stuff or love Halloween stuff, what a great thing for your collection. Because I've never seen one. As a matter of fact, I've seen two online uh, of the, the capes. And that's it. So that's going to be available. And then um, I've got another Sarah Coventry bracelet. It is Sarah Coventry, and it is quite chunky. I love it. Just like that other one. I think I sold the last one to Polly's. She's going to look fabulous in it. And then, oh, I love this one. You guys better be faster than Belinda on this one, because I think she's going to nab it up. Look at that. This is a beautiful brooch. Now, this one... Um, I did not find any markings on it, but it is really pretty. I hold it kind of back a little bit. It's got all those amber stones in it. Really, really pretty. And you know what? I think that's all I'm going to show you for now. I There's only a couple little pieces that I didn't show you. Um, maybe that'll bring you in. Um, again, I'm going to be on uh, Wednesday. This Wednesday, um, I what is that, the 13th? I think think is it I don't remember anyway it's this Wednesday um, central time at, at 10 30 central time I think Wednesday's the 13th huh 11 let's see 11 yeah I think it's the 13th anyway um, I hope to see everybody there again I know most of you probably work or or do something you know during the week but um, Somebody's knocking on my door to come in. I actually locked it so I didn't get bothered. Um, again, Wednesday, 1030 Central Time. I will be on. I'm going to try to make it kind of short and sweet. Not a lot of items, but it's going to be uh, some good items. So hope to see everybody there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.